the last video I talked about a code that'll get thrown, basically telling you this piece is bad. And um, I took this apart and I kind of want to go over what my specific failure was, um, which long story short is this piece has a, it did have a um, kind of like hexagon shaped piece that would slip into here. As you can see, this is grooved like a spline, basically. And um, this piece is fine, but this piece is completely smooth. And I'll put a, a photo up on someone else posted on the forum, but they had, they had a little bit more than I did. And you can actually see the hexagon, but mine is completely smooth. So this, this is the main issue. And they do sell a um, metal pin flap a couple other i think these are metal too that they sell but it's aftermarket and it's out of russia i believe for like 60 bucks um so i didn't really want to do that here's the top part the um, gears in here and this piece is fine it will wear eventually with the gasket material the flap is fine. Um, everything else is like perfect in here. It was covered in oil because I got oil in my intake from a bad PCV, but that's that's fine. Um, this So this is the other half of the pin. It basically goes like that. This gets pressed in and that's what holds your flap into here. The issue is this piece can work itself out of the top over time. And this is what can get sucked in and have a party with your valves and ruin your engine. So that's not fun. But um, luckily it didn't get sucked in on mine and I noticed the issue um, before it happened. Here's the bottom case, just a little circuit board. Motor goes right in here with the little is heat sink and then you have it actually lines up with the um, little terminals right here which is pretty cool and then you have the worm drive that goes onto the motor worm drive drives this gear which drives the flap um i'll put it back together and i'll show you what i mean by this just spinning in place Another thing is if you do want to open this, I used a Dremel with a, I think it's a diamond cutoff wheel. It, um, I only had to cut one side over here and I could just pry it off, but I really wouldn't recommend putting it back together after you do that. So this, you have the Johnson part of the motor facing up, this little divot clicks in um, the piece of the motor, which I showed you earlier when these were apart. Um, the worm drive just kind of sits like that. And then this little plastic piece sits with the two things facing upwards. Um, this one's pretty simple. And then there's the metal pin pushed back in. So the issue again is only the singular gear, which doesn't grip enough on the flap and therefore the flap stays open and that's what causes this DESA to fail. I'm sure I could like epoxy or JB weld the this gear to the flap, but I really don't think it'd be worth it. I might do it just to get it to move again and I might take this piece out and just connect um, I don't know if this is 12 volt, but I might connect something to it just to get this to function on, on the table, but not in the car again. Um, that's all. I really just haven't seen a video of this being disassembled on YouTube. There's maybe a forum or two where there's some pics, but not a close video. So yeah, just want to share that. That's all.